This week's memory verse comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. For I deliver to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Now, I'm going to read some sentences. If you think the sentence is true, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you think it's not true, it's false, thumbs down. Number one, hippo milk is pink. Hippo, like hippopotamus, milk is pink. Number two, some carrots are purple. Do you think that's true or false? Some carrots are purple. Number three, goldfish sleep with their eyes open. Goldfish sleep with their eyes open. And number four, giraffes and people have the same number of neck bones. Giraffes and people have the same number of neck bones. Maybe you might have said that some of these sentences were false, but do you believe that all of these facts are actually true? All of them. And we can know that our memory verse is also true because it comes from the Bible, God's word. God gave us his word so we would know the most important truth. So our most important truth is our memory verse this week. This verse comes um, in the New Testament, the second part of the Bible, and it was written by a follower of Jesus named Paul to a group of believers living in the city of Corinth. Paul wrote two letters to the Corinthians. He called the first letter 1 Corinthians and the second letter 2 Corinthians. Paul wrote this first letter after Jesus had come back to life and gone to heaven. Paul wrote to help the Corinthians know and love God. Let's look closely at the memory verse. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received. Paul was writing this because he himself saw Jesus was alive and other witnesses told him they had seen Jesus alive too. Paul believed it and now he was telling the Corinthians. That Christ. Christ is another name for Jesus. It shows that Jesus is the Savior that God sent and that he is the perfect Son of God. Die for our sins. You know, you and I, we're both, all of us are sinners and we do things that are sinful. Sometimes we might be jealous of other people, of what the things that they have, we wish we had it. Or sometimes we use bad words. Or sometimes we might push someone because we're so angry. All of these things are sinful. But, and... We deserve to be punished for our sins and not never even know God. But God didn't allow that to happen. He, Jesus took it upon himself and he said, you know, let me take your sins away. And he did it by dying on the cross for our sins. The next part that says, in accordance with the scriptures. The word scriptures means God's word, the Bible. When this book was being written, people had only the Old Testament, the first part of the Bible, because the New Testament was still being written. Hundreds of years before Jesus came to earth, the Old Testament said what would happen, a Savior would be born, live a perfect life, to be killed on the cross, and come back to life to save people from their sins. The whole Bible is about Jesus. That he was buried that he was raised on the third day. After Jesus died, he was put in a grave, but Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life and lives in heaven today, ruling over all of the earth. And again, in accordance with the scriptures, Jesus did what the Bible said the Savior would do. Let's say the whole verse all together again. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 and 4. For what I received, I pass on to you as a first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. So I'm going to show you the motions to help you memorize this verse um, so it's a lot easier. 
So for I deliver to you as a first importance, what I also received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised in, on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Okay, let's try that again. For I deliver to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance according to the scriptures, that he was buried and he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures.